Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to our channel and good morning and good afternoon to everyone who's watching the video. It's me, Vichy Kevin, and you're watching How to Guide YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can send your Tether from your Coinbase account to your KuCoin account. So for those people who do not know Coinbase and KuCoin, Coinbase and KuCoin are the exchange where you guys can buy and sell crypto, all right? And Tether is like a stable coin, which is basically equivalent to the value of US dollar. When you're buying Tether, you're basically buying a US dollar, all right? So Tether's value go up if US dollar value goes up and its value goes down if US dollar's value go down, all right? So just keep that in mind and let's get into the video. But before I start the video, I want you guys to hit that like and subscribe to our YouTube channel with notification on so you guys can get notified for a future video. And if you guys want to sign up into Coinbase and KuCoin, then basically you guys can use our referral link in the description to get up to $10 bonus for free. And let's jump right into the video. First tip, you want to go to Coinbase.com, which is the official website of Coinbase. Once you go there, you want to log in into your account. And after you log in into your Coinbase account, basically what you want to do is you want to go and register this trade. Once you go and trade, basically you want to search for Tether. In short form, it's called, called USDT. Once you search for USDT, it's going to show Tether. You want to click on Tether. Once you go over here, you want to go on Wallet. Once you go on Wallet, basically you want to go on the Send section because you want to send it. To KuCoin. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to KuCoin.com, which is the official website of KuCoin over here, like this. Once you're in KuCoin.com, you want to log in into your account. After you log in into your account, you want to go to where it says assets. And then assets, you want to go on where it says main account over here. You want to click on main account. After you click on main account, it's going to show you all this coin, but we want to deposit USDT. So we're going to search for USDT. After you search for USDT, you want to choose deposit, which is according to the you know USDT table over here you want to click on deposit once you're over here basically you want to choose which network you want to use to transfer your USDT so choose one network and copy the wallet address after choosing the network and copying the wallet address you want to you know come over here on the wallet address and choose the amount of tether you want to transfer let's say I'm going to transfer 100 rupees worth of tether I'm going to enter 100 over here and then over here I'm going to paste the wallet address which I copied from KuCoin and over here if I want to add a message I can if I don't want to I can leave it empty after doing that since I don't have any tether in my account it's not allowing me to click continue but if I had enough tether on my account once I click on continue it's going to be sent to my KuCoin on this wallet address and it's going to be stored over here so that's basically how you guys can transfer tether from your Coinbase account to KuCoin so hope you guys were able to understand the video on how you guys can you know transfer crypto so if you guys did then be sure to hit that like and subscribe to our YouTube channel with notification on so you guys can get notified for a future video and if you guys have any question, you can ask us in the comment. I'll be happy to answer you guys. And if you guys want to sign up into KuCoin and Coinbase, you guys can use our referral link in the description to get up to $10 bonus for free. And when you're transferring crypto, remember that when you're transferring USDT or in another word, Tether, you want to copy the wallet address of Tether. If you send, you know, Tether to a Bitcoin wallet address, then basically your Tether will be lost. So just keep that in mind. When you're sending Tether, go to Tether and copy the wallet address of Tether. All right. That's just a friendly reminder and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye until then.